Hi there! Um, today I'm going to talk about a little sensitive topic. Mm -hmm, because we all so love to be right. Right? Well, I like to be right. I like things to be my way and I like to be right. And when I spoke to my kids about this, I said, why do we have this need to be right? Why do we always want to be right? And then my one daughter says, well, if I'm not right, if I'm wrong, I won't get what I want. So I have to be right in order to get what I want. My other daughter says, if I'm not right, then I'm going to be rejected. And then everybody is going to think I'm wrong. And if I'm wrong, you know, I won't be accepted. Um, so there's the fear of not getting what you want. There's the fear of rejection. Um, what else? If I'm wrong, um, nobody wants to be wrong. Everybody wants to be right, right? So today I just want to talk to you a little bit about this. Because in truth, I believe that we are all right. We are all right. And here is how I got to that conclusion. Now, you probably have heard this little explanation, but just in case you haven't, I want to share it with you. Let's look at this bottle. We're all looking at this bottle, right? We're looking at this bottle together. I'm looking at the bottle from this angle and you're looking at the bottle from that angle. So on my side of the bottle, it says, there's a barcode and it says 6001008255335. I could hardly, I just, just read it. <laughs> I think I need a little plus one little glass from now, uh, little glasses. Anyway, and it says here, yeah, store in a cool, dry place. And it's, yeah, and it's a bottle of water. We're all looking at the same bottle of water. But on your side, let's see what it says. See, I'm going to have to turn the bottle around to see what it says. It says, still spring water bottled at source 1.5 liter, and it says spa. Okay, so now we're looking at the same bottle, but we're looking at this bottle from different angles. You're seeing this. You're seeing spring water bottled and all of that. I'm only seeing a barcode, okay? Now, if we have to start arguing about what we're seeing, but we're looking at the same thing, we're looking at the same bottle of water, and I'm saying, no, it doesn't say spring water. It says 6001008. And you say, no, it says spring water, and it says spa, and I say it says nothing about spa on my side, okay? We're going to argue and argue and argue forever. So who's right and who's wrong? Because you're looking at the bottle from that angle and you get to see all of that, which I don't see on my angle. Now I'm looking at the bottle from this angle and I see a whole lot of stuff that you don't see. And until I move around to your side and look in, at things from your angle, I won't see what you're seeing. And until you walk around to my side, you won't see what I'm seeing. So who's right and who's wrong here? Is it possible that everybody is right based on the fact that they're looking at it from their angle from their perspective so from their perspective is it possible that everybody could be right and i think so yes and if you come with this um perspective that everybody is right it really really takes a lot of your suffering away so I'm just, you know, in life, when I look at life, I think, okay, that's not my perspective. That's not maybe my truth. That's maybe not what I'm seeing. But can I respect that that's your perspective? That is your truth. It is what you're seeing because you're seeing that from your perspective. Can I honor that? Can I respect that? And for me, life becomes so much easier and so much better when I decided everybody is right everybody is right i also know that i have to look at why do i need to be so right you know um like my children say am i going to get what i want if i'm wrong if i'm go am i going to be accepted if i'm wrong so if we look at the need of why do we need to be right okay that's where the healing needs to come in if we are afraid of rejection we are always going to fight everybody about being right. 
If we are afraid, we're not going to get what we want. We're going to fight everybody about being right. And most importantly, what happens if you see this and I see this and we don't see the same thing, here's what happens. We start doubting ourselves. We start thinking, hmm, maybe, I'm, maybe, I'm, maybe what I'm seeing is, is not right at all. Maybe I'm insane. Maybe, maybe I don't even know what I'm talking about. And then that self-doubt comes in. So I need to be right in order to, you know, remain sane. Because if you're right, then I'm, is that even possible? So look at what you need, you know. Um, when I was a little girl, I used to think, wow, people are very, very, very mean. And then I realized, as an adult now, I look back and I thought, why is people really mean? I went to look at my life and I looked at everything and I realized, oh my goodness, people weren't really mean with me. They just saw things differently. And because I was a very unique little girl, I never saw things the way other people saw it. I always had a different perspective, a different vision, a different viewpoint, a different, like I just saw things differently. And I experienced people as mean because they, they didn't see it the way I did. And because they tried to convince me to see it the way that they did, I felt that people were mean. Were mean. But I realized no one was ever mean with me. Everyone has a right to see the way things uh, things the way that they want to see it. Um, and if we want to try and convince people to see the things the way that we see it, um, we can experience that as meanness. But it was a great weight off my shoulder when I realized no one was ever really mean with me. Um, they just saw things differently. And I needed to just learn to accept that everyone sees things differently. And that doesn't mean that anyone's wrong. Everyone's right. From the perspective they're looking at, they're right. Can I accept that? Can I find joy in that? Can I find peace in that? I think that is the thing that we are all learning here. To be in acceptance and uh, allowance and just unconditional love for everybody. Everybody has a right to see things the way that they see it. To believe what they want to believe. So I want to thank everybody who's um, taught me this lesson. Who has helped me and um, still helping me to every day learn that everyone is right. And that I um, am learning to, to accept that and to allow that. And by accepting that, I tell you that you matter and you're important and what you believe is valuable and I respect it and I honor you and I'm so thankful for this lesson I really really am um, it is my life goal to to be in acceptance that everybody is right thank you for taking the time to listen to me maybe you learn something from this maybe you don't no matter what happens, you're right.